shoe? Where is the other shoe? Come, let's find out. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful and hardworking girl named Cinderella. She lived with her loving father, a mean stepmother, and stepsisters. <laughs> but after her father died, her stepmother and stepsisters ill-treated Cinderella. She was made to work hard and toil all day long. Quick, serve us tea and breakfast. Wash our clothes and clean our rooms. But even with all these odds, Cinderella was always kind and helpful to others. With no other friendly faces around, the animals and birds were her only friends. One day, there was a royal ball at the palace in honor of the crown prince. Hear, hear! This is an invitation for all to the royal ball in honor of a crown prince. Cinderella's stepmother and her stepsisters were all ready and excited to attend the ball. Hurry up, girls! You should be the most beautiful ones at the ball! Mother, please let me come to the ball, too. A bad idea. You stay behind and look after the house. <laughs> look at your rags. You don't even have a decent dress for the ball. Alas, Cinderella was sad and wished she could be at the ball. Just then, poof! A fairy godmother appeared from thin air. Oh, dear. Don't be sad. Oh, who are you? I am your fairy godmother, and I shall send you to the ball. But how? These will do. The fairy godmother waved her magic wand and turned a pumpkin into a beautiful carriage, a cat into a royal horseman, and a few scampering rats into beautiful horses. But my dress... Aha! Uh -huh. And now a beautiful dress for you, and sparkling glass shoes. Thank you for your kindness. But don't forget to be back before 12, as my magic will fade away at midnight. Enjoy yourself and take care. At the royal ball, Cinderella looked just like a beautiful and charming princess. Even her stepsisters and mother failed to recognize her. She is so beautiful. I wonder who she is. Cinderella was the most beautiful and charming girl at the ball, and everyone admired her. The handsome prince was drawn towards Cinderella. Will you dance with me? The handsome prince and Cinderella danced and danced at the ball, as all others watched their pretty dance. But not too long, the clock was about to strike twelve at midnight. Oh no, I must hurry, it's about to strike twelve. Alarmed, Cinderella forgot about everything and hurried back to the carriage fast as she could. As she ran, one of her glass shoes slipped from her feet. But she managed to get onto the carriage and hurried away. However, the puzzled prince ran after Cinderella. What happened? Where is she? But to only find one glass shoe left behind by Cinderella. A glass shoe? As the clock struck twelve, the magic faded away and all the magical things turned as before. The carriage changed back into a pumpkin, the horses into rats, and horsemen into a cat, and Cinderella was in her rags as before. Aha! Just on time! Days went by, but the handsome prince never forgot Cinderella. I wonder who the charming girl was. I must find her. So the prince ordered his royal servants to find the girl. Bring me the girl whose foot fits perfectly into this glass shoe. 
After unsuccessfully wandering all over the kingdom, the servants were at Cinderella's house. The stepsisters tried the shoe, but in vain. The shoe did not fit onto their feet. Now the servants insisted that Cinderella should also give it a try. Let her try too. Ha <laughs> ha, she? It's a waste of time. She wasn't even at the ball. She must. It's a royal order. But when Cinderella tried the shoe, to everyone's surprise, the shoe fit perfectly into Cinderella's foot. It was her shoe. Look, it's her. We have found the princess. Hearing this news, the prince hurried to see Cinderella and was delighted to see that she was the same girl at the ball. Will you marry me? So the handsome prince and Cinderella married and lived together happily ever after. Oh, I love, um, I mean, I, I like Cinderella. <laughs> no worries. Everyone loves Cinderella, don't we? <laughs> <laughs>